Hey everyone, this is Wei with 3DModelingHero.com and for this tutorial I'm going to be modeling the lip and mouth area. So the first step would be just to quickly analyze what the possible uh, edge flows are and it's pretty simple, you know, everything just kind of radiates outwards um, you know, from, from the lip uh, with exception to here, you have the chin kind of bulging out a little bit and then this black arc here is um, you know, just make sure that you have edges going around this way um, so that you have enough geometry for, um, you know, morph targets if you're doing expressions and things like that. But that, that's pretty standard. So looking at this, what would be the uh, possible geometry? And I would probably get something like this as the uh, first step in the, this low modeling. And it's very basic, you know, just kind of following the the you know, the, the contours of the lip and it just kind of goes outwards. Now obviously these geometries are really long right here, um, but, you know, let's forget about that. You know, we just want to keep it as low as possible and, and just keep it simple for now. And once we have this model, I'm going to be uh, switching to a different reference, which is this. Um, it's the same person, but at a three-quarter view. And from here you can see a lot more definition. So once we have that, we'll continue on with this reference. Okay, so we're in Maya. Now to get started, um, because this what we're trying to model is relatively flat, I'm just gonna start out with a plane, and I'll just literally you know use the um, split polygon tool and cut in the lines you know matching the reference, and then once I have everything cut in, then I can you know start pushing and pulling uh, the points in and out in order to get the three-dimensional shape. So you can use this method of modeling at the beginning if your model is uh, relatively flat and you can model it really quickly too. Okay, so back to real time. So here is our current low poly model. And we got some of the major uh, lip lines and from the side view, it's starting to look like a lip. So from here, we're gonna work with another uh, reference image where we can see the shape a little bit better. Okay, so this is gonna be the next uh, reference image that we're gonna be modeling from. And from this three quarter view, you can see the forms a lot better. And the major shapes that we're seeing is this big bulge here and then there's a smaller bulge here and then it obviously the chin right here right but more importantly is that the edge flow of this we're gonna have to change it from this low model you can see how it kinda goes in right? it wraps in like this and then even here there's, there's, there should be an edge because this wraps this kinda curves right in because you have a bulge here this flans out a little bit and it comes in to the, uh, the edge of the lip so we're going to have to change some of the edge flow here on the low model. We're going to need to go this way and then we're going to have to add, add, add an edge here, make a bulge here. Okay, and then like this, like this. So it's, we're going to have to change this up a little bit, but that's pretty normal when we go from a uh, you know, very low poly model to a, uh, uh, you know, a sub-D model where we can subdivide into a high res model that's ready for production. So let's get started with that. Okay, so continue to model on this. Um, the first thing I do is I create a gap between the upper and lower lip since uh, you know those two geometries never really connect. Uh, so having a gap there will be a lot, a lot easier to work with. And then from there I'll be cutting in more geometry so that I can have enough geometry to uh, get the forms I want and also to you know get the correct edge flow on the model. In terms of poly count, you're most likely going to be at least tripling the uh, poly count on the model. So, you know, whenever you have a higher res model, it just, it's just a lot harder to work with. So that's the reason I always like to keep the model as low as possible and only increase the geometry when we absolutely need to, you know, so that we can have enough to play with. All right, so back to real time. Now, looking at this current model, now we have the uh, correct edge flow, right? Now we have this, see this whole bulge right here going into the lip, which is this. And then the more subtle part, but very important area is, you know, this area right here, where it kind of sinks in a little bit, and now you have this little bulge. 
So we all have that. Now if I put in the sub D mode, so you can kind of see, see how this area sinks in. All right, and this little bulge right here. I mean, it's still obviously not in the correct proportion, but the edge flows are there. Um, so as of now, you know, I think like 80% of the work is done. You know, the next 20% is really just cleaning up and, you know, adding more geometry and, you know, tightening up some areas just so that you can have uh, harder creases. All right, so let's finish this up. Okay, so here is our final model, and if you look at this, it's um, still a relatively low model, and that is, you know, the beauty of uh, box modeling is that, you know, if you have the correct edge flow, you really don't need a lot of geometry to create, uh, to get a lot of detail. So with this model, if we subdivide it once, we'll get this, which, which is pretty good, but you can see that, you know, it's kind of, a lot of area is being washed out, uh, so it's, it's, it's looking a little bit soft, right? So we'll subdivide it two times, and this pretty much, you know, now you can see all the little uh, creases and, and, and details everywhere, and the model is a lot smoother. So a model at this resolution would pretty much be uh, ready for, you know, for production and rendering. So to do a quick check of the forms, um, I mean, it's pretty much all there. You know, you got this little bulge here, bulge here, got a little uh, ridge right here. And even inside the lips, I mean, there's a, there's a little bit of a crease here, which is kind of how you know, most lips are, you know, that there is a little crease there. But if you look at the low geometry, you see how simple it, it is to create something like that. It's just a matter of, you know, just having a couple edges here. And these, having this triangle here actually helps. Um, see, when you subdivide it, you know, the triangle goes away. And it also creates a little pinch right there, which is uh, which is what I was looking for. Now, if for whatever reason, if your model cannot have triangles, I mean, all you have to do is just kind of, you know, extend it out, right, and then delete that edge. But in terms of you know results, when you subdivide, it's pretty much the same. So, I mean, I, I always stick with this because it's lower, it's lower in poly count, and I love low models. You know, it's just it's easier to work with. All right, let me do a real quick uh, recap of all the models uh, at different stages just to uh, just see as a comparison. So from the first model, it was very simple. You know, we just drew the outlines and we just kind of extruded. And, you know, we got a very simple profile, you know, of a lip. And then from here to this model, was actually a, it's a pretty big jump because, you know, now we're redirecting uh, some of the edge flow. And this is, the, you know, the hardest part of modeling is from you know going from this to this, uh, and there is a method on how to you know how you can redirect the edge flow without without you know messing up the model, and I, and I'll do a video on that as well, uh, a separate video. So <clears throat> from this model to this model is actually very easy, because you know all the edge flows are there. It's just a matter of um, adding in more geometry, as you can see like here you know the the, the lips got. Uh, more spans than this uh, and also <clears throat> also out here you know you have an extra span so it's just from here to here is pretty simple you know because the model is pretty much you know like I said it's almost like 80% 80, 80 done and this is just clean up and this is just clean up and making it presentable so these are the three uh, progressions of the, of the lip model and I will have it up on my blog at uh, 3dmodelinghero.com so you'll be able to download them and you know, take a closer look at them if you want or, you know, whatever, use it for yourself. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next time.